right, this video should help us remember how to find the mean, the median, the range, the interquartile ranges, and how to make a box plot using that information. So when we are finding the mean or the average, we need to add up all of our data. So we have four, eight, nine, plus 10, plus eight, plus three. So once we have the sum is 42, and then we divide by how many data points we have. So three, four, five, six, and that equals seven. So now we're going to find the median. So we need to put our numbers in order and find the middle. So I can see I have three, next comes four, we have two eights, a nine and then a 10. And I'm looking for the middle here. So 10 matches to three, four matches to nine. So I'm left with eight and eight in the middle makes eight. To find the range, you take the largest number, the maximum value, and we subtract the littlest value. So 10 minus three is seven. So looking forward, we're going to find the median. We need to find quartile three and quartile one. So very first thing we need to do is put these in order. So I can see I have two nines, no M, two nines. I have a 10, another 10, one, two, oops, two, three, four 11s, two 12s, a 13, a 14, and two 15s when I put them in order. So there's the first step we need to do. So now we're going to look for our median. So we're going to match each one up. So I'm left with two 11s in the middle. So that means my median is 11. So I'm going to go ahead and mark my median there. Now I use everything on this side of the line to find quartile one. So nine matches 11, match each one. And I'm left with 10 as quartile one. I'm just going to mark that here. And then everything on this side of the line needs to be used to find quartile three. So I match everything up here. And I'm left with 13. So go ahead and draw that one there. Box everything up. And then my lowest data point is nine. And my largest one is 15. Now notice when I drew my box plot, I had to recreate a new correct number line. This up here is not a number line. And if I draw my box plot above that, it's going to make things look more spread out or less spread out than they really are. So make sure when you draw your box plot, you use a correct number line. So there is my box plot. And let's take a look at a box plot to answer a few questions here. So when I'm looking for the median, I come find that middle line is six. It wants the range of 10 minus two is eight. And then the inner quartile range is I find my larger quartile seven, subtract the smaller one, seven minus three equals Four. So there is a review of those new vocabulary words that we have been working on.